בוקר טוב, היום נעשה קצת משהו שונה. בשנים האחרונות לא יצא לי ללכת לאוניברסיטה, אבל אני יוצא לי לנסוע באוטו עם הרבה מהנדסים ואנשי מכירות, טכנאים מהעולם, ובשעות הרבות שאנחנו נוסעים באוטו יוצא לי לשאול הרבה שאלות, ללמוד, וככה אני מתעדכן במה שקורה בעולם, בטכנולוגיות חדשות, בדברים שאני בכלל לא יודע. והחלטתי לשתף אתכם, אז היום אה, נתחיל בסדרה שכל פעם שיגיע לי איזה אורח, אז אני אראיין אותו ואני אעלה פה ליוטיוב, לערוץ שלנו, את הסרטון. והיום נתחיל בסרטון הראשון בסדרה. האורח הוא בחור בעל ידע עצום, אנציקלופדיה מהלכת בנושא השאיבה. מהנדס שאיבה ומתעסק בענף כבר מעל 30 שנה. אה, אל תדאגו, הרעיונות אולי חלקם יהיו באנגלית. אם זה לא יהיה אנשים ישראלים, אבל יהיו תרגום, אני אתרגם עם כתוביות את כל, ה... את כל הטקסט, אם אני לא אתרגם את זה בעל פה. אני מקווה שתיענו, ונתחיל. הגענו למלון של הארץ, עוד שנייה הוא ייכנס. אפשר לשים את הדברים ונכיר לכם אותו. Good morning, Aral. How are you? Thanks. You are in the... already shooting in the television. Really? Oh my God, <laughs> you adjusted it already. <laughs> yes, from the beginning. So let's uh, start. Good morning again, Harald. I let you a little bit uh, mm. recover from <laughs> entering my car. <laughs> the shock. Uh, I have a few questions to ask you. Mm. And maybe the people, uh, my customers in Israel will be interesting mm. about uh, the answer from professional. Mm. What is your experience in the uh, woodworking industry? How many years you already? Uh... Uh, I've been working for my company approximately 22 years. This is only in dust extraction systems and uh, uh, I'm doing business all over the world. So already more than five years, so yes. for me it's professional. Yes. <laughs> and, um, Normally when I'm selling machine people uh, and I told them they need dust extraction, people ask me for uh, which, uh, which size of dust extraction I need, how many horsepower. Yeah. So what do you say, have to say about this? If I buy, for example, edge bending with uh, joint trimming and corner rounding, mm -hmm. how, how size of the motor should be? be? Or what uh, there is any you, connection you, for the motor size? No, there's no connection really to the, to the motor size. We are never uh, calculating uh, really the motor power. Our, our main, main requirement for calculations is uh, uh, the machine data of the, of the manufacturer. Uh, so for example, if I look on the brochure of the machine, it's written, uh, written 3,500 yes, uh, cubic meter yes. power. This is, a, this is, this is a data you this need. This is uh, one of the t essential data. The second essential data is uh, the, 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 uh, the required vacuum at the, at the machine ports, which is at uh, most of the, of the HOMAC machines, uh, as, as are uh, CNC machines, uh, edge bender and beam source, uh, extraordinary very high. Uh, not only with Swomak machines, it's the same situation also with, with kind other... Of panel, so yeah, yeah, machines, with, with, machines yeah, yeah. because of the big hoods and the big pipes? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's the interior de design uh, mainly uh, that, that led to the, such a high required uh, vacuum. With a CNC, for instance, a long flexible hose of 5 uh, meter, uh, they take up the movement and also the interior design of the, of, of the head. The, the high vacuum sim. Sorry, the, the video was cut. So, how, how can I get the information what uh, which dust extraction or mm. I need? Uh, the first thing is uh, to get uh, the data sheets uh, from the manufacturer, which are with Roma Group, uh, Wege Company, Brand Company. Homa company, Budfering company, uh, they have uh, precise data sheets available that uh, uh, give us infos about the required airflow of the machine and uh, most important the required vacuum of the machine. And what about uh, ducting? The pipes. This is important. Uh, which kind uh, we have? Because I saw in many shops they put a plastic 
for yeah, food, like uh, the water for most the, uh, most uh, often the first idea of the customer is uh, just to connect his uh, his new machine to the to the old ducting fit in any any branch some elbows oh, sometimes some there is a completely no ducting so which yeah. uh, ducting you recommend is flexible ducting uh, or, uh, flexible or? ducting generally should be kept as short as as uh, possible our recommendation is to to limit it to approximately 1 to 1.5 uh, meter except uh, obviously the CNC machines that require uh, in most cases uh, between four and six meter to take up the movement for all the other machines which are grunt edge bending machines uh, beam saws uh, buttering machines we advise uh, not to ex exceed uh, flexible hose lengths of uh, uh, approximately one one meter why uh, this is uh, because uh, the resistance, uh, the inner resistance of a flexible hose is approximately four times higher than that of a, of a uh, straight uh, metal, metal duct due to the, to, to the inner, inner surface. Uh, a metal duct is simply flat inside and uh, everybody knows that the interior of a flexible hose is, is uh, curved, it's, it's not, uh, not even. So this means... Uh, what about the, the elbows? It's also yeah. important? Uh, this, this means basically just uh, let me continue this because this is an important uh, point. So I see very frequently here in Israel and elsewhere that uh, people tend to connect, uh, let's say, a beam saw or an edge bender from the t from the five meter high main duct just by by hanging down a flexible hose. This is the worst thing what you can ever do. Often these flexible hose lengths are then about uh, four or five meter long, and if I multiply apply that with a factor four what I just ex explained uh, this is the same resistance uh, that I install then as uh, uh, compared to, to about uh, 16 or 20 meters of, of uh, straight duct everybody can imagine that this can uh, can never work out at all and often we find with such situations and air velocities uh, uh, if I took measurements uh, there of 10 meters per second 12 meters per second uh, uh, compared to the 28 meters per second uh, what we what we need actually at the machine so uh, I would need to to double or, or triple uh, the uh, air, uh, the air velocity, uh, the measured air velocity to achieve good extraction uh, so what, performance what at the a, machine. What is the size, if we have a 3 meter CNC machine, what is the size of the flexible hose you recommend? What's the maximum? Uh, it uh, with, uh, the, uh, the connection of a CNC machine is often very, very complicated. It's, it's, uh, it's easy if I have enough height available. So if it's possible in the building to install the main duct height at uh, uh, approximately five meter lengths, I can just uh, go for an elbow at five meter lengths and hang down my flexible with a length of, of approximately four or five meter. Uh, if uh, the uh, uh, height in the building is in the range only of uh, three meter, between three and four meter, it, it can get difficult. There are special solutions available that I cannot explain here or just on, on no, this just uh, video. Hear, uh, give us some yeah, but uh, uh, the, the normal situation and the best what we also can advise if it's enough height uh, available, uh, install the, duct, the main duct in five meter high and uh, hang, uh, in, uh, rather in the middle of the machine and uh, let a uh, uh, four or five meter flexible hose just hang down to the machine. What, uh, what about the cleaning? Uh, I, I understand from you that uh, the filter have to be clean but it's not possible every day to clean the, the fiber and the filter. Uh, all sophisticated filters or, or filters which are which are in the range of, of uh, up to 10, 15, 20 years old are equipped with an automatic cleaning system. At, at least our, our systems that we manufacture in, in uh, Northern Europe. There are three types of cleaning system. But before, uh, why it's important to keep the filter cleaning? Uh, it's the uh, same situation as with a clogged vacuum cleaner in your in your home. Uh, the vacuum cleaner in your home is equipped with a with a with a filter. If the filter is full or stuffed, uh, everybody knows there's there's a loss in performance down to zero. This is the same with a filter. 
uh, filters of the dust extraction systems. Like if we saw yesterday with the shaker was not running, yeah, so it, the performance so, was yeah, down. Yeah, so if, if the filters are uh, old, uh, uh, often after three, four, four years, uh, and or uh, the cleaning system, the automatic cleaning system is not in operation, the performance of the dust extraction system will go down to zero after a while. So no no suction performance anymore at the at the machines. There are two approaches then, then only either to buy a new set of filter and and of course if the the, uh, the defect is is uh, coming coming from uh, a non-functioning uh, cleaning system, uh, the cleaning system has to be uh, has to be uh, repaired. Then what your impression about the dust extraction in the factories, wood walking factories in Israel? You have a good impression, or, or compared uh, to other countries? Okay, okay. we visiting. We visited a number of companies uh, yesterday, and the problems in Israel with dust extraction systems are the same as in uh, any any other country in the in the region here or or elsewhere. There is usually a lack in performance, a heavy lack in performance, especially with uh, with the uh, sophisticated machines, which are uh, the Homark edge benders, uh, uh, CNC machines, uh, beam saws, but also edge benders, beam saws, and CNC machines of all the other brands. Uh, the requirement for dust extraction of these, these machines are very... If we saw performance of uh, 10 meter per second uh, or 7 meter per second in a, in a carpenter yesterday, this is it's, like it's, uh, it's, you can switch off uh, dust you, extraction. Yeah, you can equally... It's, it's a waste of money to even run the dust extraction system. You just spend the electricity uh, and you yeah, do the You, you, the you spend the electricity and uh, 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 maybe are happy that, uh, that there is a dust extraction system, but you can you can easily also switch it off just do a trial switch it off for a while and and uh, see if there is a difference to, to run the machine with or without the extraction system i don't think there is a big difference well, Harald, thank you very much for your time uh, i believe if somebody have, uh, want to go more deep to details he can uh, contact us and we will be happy to assist no yeah you have uh, Harald have a lot of knowledge to give you so just uh, contact us and, uh, we, will be there. we can also easily uh, uh, prove uh, the performance of your dust extraction systems by taking uh, air velocity measurements at uh, any machines you you want us to, to check for. Yes. So again, thanks for all that come from Germany to explain us a little bit uh, about uh, dust extraction, which is very important for the health and for the health mm -hmm. of the machines. Less problems with good dust extraction now. Okay, thank you. It's always nice to come to Israel. Thanks a lot.